So what are you guys? We are the Sparkwood family. The magnetic field. We start to pull you into the magnetic field. First part of the problem, everybody can answer this. Does it go clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. We did that guess, I mean, using Lenz's law. Okay? Now we're actually going to do the math. Compute for me the voltage. So the EMF should be what? The negative sign, you could put it there or not, it means nothing. Because all the negative sign tells you is which way it's going. And you can tell the professor counterclockwise. Okay? Um, what about the change in magnetic flux? This is the part that I think is kind of unfair if they don't remind you. How do you get the flux again? It's our, our mellow version. It's the B field times the area. So he has to tell you the problem of B field. So he'll say a constant B field. Constant makes it nice because then it'll always be B, right? Right? Where you end up is where you start plus velocity times time. Where you started was zero. Okay? So what's your total distance, your base from left to right? It would be your constant velocity times what? Times how much time has passed. Does everybody see that? So this length here is velocity times time. Because if you multiply velocity times time, you'll get the distance you've covered. Does everybody agree? No stress. No stress. So Vt. Okay, almost done. Now you tell me, how do you compute dA, dt? Bad flashback to math. Take the derivative of this guy with respect to time. But that means everybody else is a constant. So what happens to L and V? They just come out. They're just constants, right? Does everybody agree with that? Like the co Oops, that's not good. The derivative of 2x is just what? 2. So the constant comes out. The derivative of x is 1. What's the derivative of t? 1. So this guy has to be what? So, so you tell me. So this guy has to be, the derivative of this guy is LV, just like you said. The derivative of T, that's the variable, is just 1. These constants are just along for the ride, LV. Everybody okay with this? Okay, then we're done. Let's just plug it in. This is B L V. That's it. But it's going to work this way. Do you remember in Gauss's law, it's a good chance for us to review. You had some charge. You picked some nice, like, I don't know, Gaussian surface made up. You looked at some radius. You look at a target over here. And then what did we do? We said you have something like flux. It's not a big deal. It's the electric field times the area. That's like the flow or flux. And it depended on what? Like these lines that go out. It depends only on what? The charge inside. Does everybody agree? But what was the area? 